All right, so um, I would just like to share with you really quickly some uh, thoughts that I've had recently about how we can take Frontline SMS, which is a very cool tool, um, which I honestly haven't really had the opportunity to experiment too much with yet, but hopefully that will change um, in the near future. But anyway, how we could take a tool like Frontline SMS um, and sort of build upon that to do um, a bunch of cool other stuff. So um, I've cleaned off my whiteboard because I'm going to draw some pictures. Um, I tend to think in pictures and I like to draw. I'm not very good at it, so bear with me. But anyway, um, all right, so to begin, let's just draw a quick little frontline SMS setup here. This is a computer, uh, right? Could be your desktop, laptop, EPC, whatever. Um, we're going to connect that here to our little cell phone. Um, all right, and put a little USB cable. Okay, so there essentially is our frontline SMS gateway setup, right? It's as easy as that. A computer, a mobile phone, and some free and open source software. Now, you know, out of the box, there's a lot of really great stuff that you can do with that. Um, uh, I'm just going to draw some other phones here quickly um, just to represent some of our users out in the field who are sort of connected to this gateway here. All right. All right, there's some phones. And, you know, these phones, obviously, as I said, are connected to this gateway um, using nothing but SMS, which is very cool. Um, so, you know, the standard kind of stuff, right? Um, we can send a lot of messages out from our gateway. Um, and these can be, you know, reminders or uh, reminders about events or things to do to take your medicine, about this upcoming training event. Um, it can be uh, information after some sort of training, uh, you know, reinforcement of uh, key messages that you learned. Um, so that's, you know, one direction, out. Another direction, obviously, is in as well. So you can start to capture data coming back as well. Um, how's that here within the database um, that's linked to Frontline SMS? Um, something I've been playing around a bit with lately um, is kind of more two-way and extends some of the built-in functionality um, a bit. So, for example, um, there's something called an external command, right, in Frontline SMS, which allows an incoming message to trigger something to happen outside of Frontline SMS on the computer or somewhere else. I'll get to that in a second. Have that come back, return some kind of information, and have that trigger another message out of Frontline SMS. So. I've been kind of thinking at three sort of different levels here. Um, I'm going to draw some pictures. All right. Um, this is going to be code. There we go. It's got some if-then-else statement or something. Anyway, so one potential option. A request comes in from a phone. Using this external command functionality, that request then gets sent to some external code that's running on that machine. Some sort of processing happens, some sort of algorithm, whatever, uh, occurs, or you go through this algorithm, and then that sends information back to Frontline SMS, which then returns something to the phone. Now, that could be, for example, something I recently did um, playing around with. It could be calculating uh, an estimated delivery date based on the last menstrual period. So how does that work? The phone sends in the date of the last menstrual period, April something, April 23rd, 2009. Um, 
that little bit of information gets communicated to this code where there's a very simple algorithm that says take that date, add 267 days to it, you get estimated delivery date, send that right back. So you can provide real-time lookup, a real-time conversion of LMP to EDD. Very cool. Um, way to empower some folks out in the field um, who need nothing but a cell phone um, and some SMS messages to provide some real-time performance support. Um, this could be other things too like uh, medical eligibility criteria, um, partograph, etc. A bunch of things I don't understand because I'm not a clinician. But um, anyway, but that's all kind of here in this code idea. The other idea is to hook this up to some sort of database. Um, I did a little playing around with this as well. And what I did is I took um, the WHO's model list of uh, essential medicines, which is a, you know, a PDF document um, that the WHO makes available. Um, basically parsed all of that through all of that information into a database and created a little tool where from a phone, once again, you can send an SMS message that is just the name of a medicine that comes into Frontline SMS, gets sent actually through some code to a database to retrieve information about that medicine from the database. It could be one or many records, or zero, honestly, um, which then gets passed back through that code back to Frontline MS, uh, Frontline SMS and then, once again, back out to the phone. Um, what my little tool that I built um, recently does is just provide categorization and formulation data. But again, it's an, um, a potential extension of some of the, you know, out-of-the-box functionality here. The last one is um, actually making those calls out over the internet. Um, in these two scenarios, the code is running on a local machine, here the database is on a local machine, but there's no inherent reason why that all has to be happening locally. If you've got a connection to the internet, uh, that same message can be passed back out over the internet um, to some other site that could be, you know, there could be some code running here, there could be a database here. Um, I just recently um, wrote a little thing that basically screen scrapes from a web page um, and allows one to SMS the name of a country, go out, scrape the IT, uh, International Telecommunications Union's ICTIEYE -E website and pull back uh, ICT indicators for that country. Again, back over the internet, back here to the local machine, and then out to the phone. So anyway, it's very powerful, this, this idea of the external command, which then you know, allows you to build upon the platform that Frontline SMS provides. Um, so there's all sorts of, I've been thinking about performance support tools um, and lookups and query tools and um, that could be developed that um, and like I said, go beyond kind of the one-way blast emails out or the one-way, you know, messages, data collection coming in. Um, 